Hello guys, this is Kenji Katana here, and now as you can see, this is the ZSNES I'm using, and as you can tell, probably tell by now, this is not Fire Emblem, or Pokemon for that matter. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing this is one, this is a great game, first of all, and the main reason. And two, is because I wanted to add more variety to my channel, and thought that I want I should do something other than a turn-based strategy, that, which I usually do. Okay, so Mega Man X specification. Head is equipped with butt eye camera, ultra sensitive recognition system, voice generation system made by Haycom Inc. I can't read it that fast. <laughs> well, I can read it. I can read it. It's just I can't say it out aloud that fast before it scrolls off the screen. But I don't think this really matters too much. Warning: X is the first of a new generation of robotics, which contain an innovative new feature. The ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. That's what. That's why X is na has his name. It's, that's why he's called X. However, this ability could be very dangerous if X were to break the first rule of robotics. A, ro a robot must never harm a human being. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately. I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please, do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 20XX, Thomas Light. Let's play Mega Man X. Alright, so. Now, just so you guys know, I am doing this game 100%. 100 percent. 100 freaking percent. Alright, so, um, I always, I always think that the cars are gonna hit me, but no, that would make too much sense. Alright, and we have these guys which like to shoot missiles, and if you, if you mash the but, if you mash the buster, um, fast enough, you can defeat them without them hitting you. Ooh, excuse me, yeah. Anyways, these are, these guys are called smashers. Um, this is the only time I believe you'll see them. I th yeah, because they're only in this intro stage, and that was very smart of me. Yeah, this is not turning out well. For but then again, I'm not really trying very much, so... Double. And weapon energy is completely useless! Alright, so... As you can see, this city is pretty much in ruins. And, uh oh. And oh yeah, those things under under that B, under that B co uh, the, that B copter or whatever. You like you like to talk, you like to say about it. Those are ball divorks, or in other words, deer balls, as they're called. Now I'll try to remember all the enemy names I can, but um, most likely I'm not gonna get all of them. Anyway, just yeah, this and these B things. This is the only stage you'll see them as well. Oh, what the? Uh, I think I went on. I went under the B and died. Uh, that's not very good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm fast forwarding.
Alright, back. I am not dying under that thing again. Anyways, go up this ramp and, don't, and not die. And... We got these little, like, bee- I think- I don't know what they're called, I think. I think, be, um, beam- Bees? Beam bombers? I don't know. But what these guys like to do, they like to shoot bombs at you from the butt. That's some ex yeah, that's some explosive feces right there. <laughs> Anyways, oh yeah, do we have G guy Jim Regis? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce him, but apparently they're the more malicious, malicious um, relatives of the Bladers from the original Mega Man. Now these guys, um, you're gonna want to jump, just jump over them, because even if you defeat the driver, that car will still keep rolling and it can hurt you, like it, like now. Alright, so... Go over here, and we get this cutscene. Alright. So now, we gotta defeat three of these, I think they're called road... Runners? Spiders? But really, they just like to drive, do drive-bys on you. And what you have to do, you need to defeat the driver and destroy the car. You need to destroy three of them. If you don't destroy the car and let it scroll off, and if you just let the... Um, I think where'd it go? Oh, never mind. I thought if you had, I thought you had to destroy the car too, but I'm not sure if I destroyed it or not. I don't know. And now we have File, the X, the Maver the X Maverick Hunter. Now, there is just so you know, there is no way for you to win this. It is impossible. And actually, if you I believe, you can actually die to this guy if you actually jump jump on him in the last hit, I believe. But no, instead we get this cutscene. You worthless piece of scrap metal! Did you think you could defeat me? <sighs> and Zero comes and save the day. Oh, I just missed. Dang it. Okay. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X. You shouldn't defeat. You shouldn't expect to defeat him. He was designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached your full power yet. If you use all the abilities you can, you were designed with, you should be able to come stronger. You may even become as powerful as me. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's Fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you and when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. And with that, I am going to say, this is Kenji Katana, signing out. And in the next part, we will be moving on to the Robot Masters and Chill Penguin. So, I'll see you then.